Nerf Man 101 here, and back uh, with another mod today. Uh, well, I was talking to Pump Pictures, and turns out that the question is answered. UN13 made it in Coop 772, I think, which is the guy I was thinking about because he made it previously for his actual pump action shotgun, which is kind of funny. But anyway, uh, besides that, uh, oh, I was talking to Pump Pictures, and basically we're on the save wavelength of thoughts apparently because as soon as I test fired my uh, pump action shotgun I guess not clip but chain from the Vulcan chain uh, the accuracy sucked basically so uh, here's a mod that what you can do which I just tested and it works perfectly uh, to to increase your ranges with your PVC connections okay so basically, uh, many mods that I've seen uh, with uh, oops, with PVC uh, barrels actually have other barrels inside. For example, brass, copper, uh, pet G, etc. Uh, but it, considering I don't have either of those or any of those for that matter, uh, I just made up one, which is I think this is a first. So, uh, hopefully, I put it on Nerf Haven and they'll actually like it, which will make me a little bit happy. Because, uh, yeah. Because I had bad experience before on one of my posts. But, anyway. Uh, I'm saying I'm the first one to do this. If I'm not, prove me wrong. And, there you go. But, uh, today is the thir 13th and of April. So, yeah. Prove me wrong, someone before today has made this. Okay, so basically it starts off like the same as my other one. You start off with your uh, pump at shotgun and add just a short piece of CPVC for your uh, Vulcan chain. Now, I used to just connect it like this, which was a very good idea, and then shoot it. But I found out that basically the accuracy really sucks. So, if you can see... This one's missing. Do you know the blank round to start off the chain? That one's missing. If you want to know why, then listen up. Okay. Here it is. Here's my simple mod, as long as you have a, a Dremel or a drill. Uh, you get this. You cut it off. I mean, uh, unscrew it. Take it off. Then, you basically sand down with a Dremel or just drill the mess out of it. And then try to sand down as much as you can to have it flat. And because what I realized is, uh, for example, when I first saw this, I was like, wow, this may work. Uh, let me get one of my Stephens, Stephens, Stephens. Bam. That is just like CPVC. And you like you know how if you've ever used CPVC, you have to twist down your uh, Stephens usually. Which uh, is what you usually do. But, so, uh, I drilled, uh, can't talk, drilled a hole through this whole thing. Well, of course, it's kind of sketchy because, like, I didn't sit down well. I got too excited. I went to try it out. And then, basically, you got to remember, there's going to be a slit on this side because it was through the belt. So, you, I just E-taped over it. At, well, a little bit of hot glue and E-taped over it. And then, you have to remember the screw holes. E-taped around that with a little bit of hot glue for it didn't get in the way of the actual dart. Then... I found out that, hey, it is just like CPVC, and just twist your dart and put it in there. Shot it, it didn't suck, well, it worked fine, but the uh, the accuracy was way off. Once again, same problem. So, what I did to solve this was, think about it, this is the same length. For example, uh, these are different uh, widths, that's what I meant to say, widths, width. But, yeah, that's a different width than this one. But these are the same. So what I did is, or was, you put this side in, the side uh, that you don't put your dart in right here. You push it in. And bam, that's how it used to be. Except it's not a clip anymore. Then, you get your PVC half inch, which is the same thing that I'm going to use for this gun. Except it's going to be longer. This one's just a demo. And then you put it on this end. And bam. 
solves the whole dilemma of not having PETG or uh, brass or copper lining your PVC barrel for a snug fit. Because uh, all you have to do is it's just like working with a normal gun. You get your uh, PVC barrel, take it off, put this on, bam, and then put it on and fire. And yeah, that's basically it. So it acts as a chamber of sorts, uh, like a transfer. Uh, it's, it works perfectly. I can't wait to see it with a longer barrel on the second, I guess, the second barrel, technically. I'll probably shorten this one to here and then connect it that way then have my long barrel. That way I don't have to buy Pet G, Pet G or whatever to actually have a snug fit for my dart. And the good thing is about this is the screw hole, the one that you can't really cover because you have to fit another barrel over it, is uh, covered by the PVC tightly and there's no air holes well none like no visible but you know if you feel like you are a little awkward or like if you feel uncomfortable with it then just hot glue and what I have to say about that is check my time six minutes wow didn't know that what I said what I have to say, uh, what I have to say about this basically uh, I usually do it this way sandpaper tear a little piece it doesn't have to be sandpaper just any paper fold it where it can go in the actual thing and cover the bottom of the hole for it doesn't get right in the way of the bullet and then hot glue it and make sure once it's dry you sand it down for it's flat and then you <clears throat> well basically sand it for it's flat for you can put this back on but hey there it is I think I'm the first one to ever propose something like this because no one's ever thought about it because they either have pet G or whatever and like me I try to save money which is why I go to like Goodwill and crap like that for I can get guns for example this one which I got for two dollars so yeah that's pretty cool uh, hope you like it uh, it's just really just an adapter piece and Nerf Man 101 basically saying saw and R.